Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, it's a nice, beautiful, sunny Sunday day outside, like 70 degrees. And instead of out enjoying fun stuff, well, guess what? Me and Kyle, we're going to be working on the Thunderbird. So in the last video, we changed the center section to get a better gear ratio, control arms that were better built for this application, shocks, bags, you name it. So we ran out of time there at night because it was super late. We both had to work in the morning. So instead of enjoying this fine, fun Sunday day, actually we have, it's just kind of a joke, and we're waiting for Mad Dog uh, Kenny to get here. All we got left to do on this thing before we can really go to the drag strip and test it out is we need to get those control arms adjusted so everything's right with the world, true, straight, you name it. We also got to set that pinion angle. From there, we're going to check to make sure nothing's leaking, do a once over on the car, and pretty much call it good. I'm pretty excited to see how this new combo is going to work at the drag strip. Um, that's obviously going to be weather permitting. It's October. It's very, uh, what would you say, Kyle? Day by day here in the fall time. Every day's a gift. Every day's a gift, yes. Yeah. So it might be nice one day, next day's rainy. So weather permitting, we'll get this Thunderbird back out on the track, see what that new combo will do. With that, I'm going to chat with Kyle a little bit. Kenny gets here. We're going to start working. See ya. All right, so what you saw us trying to do was get the car started so we can get it back to my place and all that fun jazz. Wouldn't start. Thought maybe a fuel filter was clogged and check fuel filters, nothing. Kyle thought I was out of gas, which was a good possibility. Put gas in it, still nothing. Checking our fuel line. Here's the body, here's the frame. Right in there, can't really tell, but it looks like the fuel line completely got pinched. So what we're going to do is we're going to redo some of this to see if that's what's causing it not start, not get fuel. Say in a few. All right, we're just, I'm holding the mic this time. So the hacks out hacked themselves. 
Um, I'm still going to go with, I was probably out of gas too. So I owe Kyle like 87 gallons of 93 octane, which in the today's world is a lot of money. But this thing had those violent, violent, violent launches. And we literally pinched a fuel line. We didn't even know that. Um, and there was quite a bit of travel that thing had to move. So in the videos from drag racing, we actually pinched that and it started off with enough fuel. Um, so yeah, now we got everything installed, pinion angle set right, all the control arms are set right. We actually get fuel to the engine now. So what I'm going to do is Kyle and I and Kenny, we're going to load this thing up. We're going to take it back to my house and weather permitting at some point, we're going to take it down to the drag strip and see what it'll do. But yeah, the hacks outdid themselves and I owe Kyle 87 gallons of premium vp vp, VP. Good, stuff. good stuff that's that cheap 87 that this guy likes to run yeah so there we go we outdid ourselves we made one we fixed one problem and found another which is kind of ironic because this thing really hasn't been fired up since we were drag racing so it had to have happened and it just got worse on that last run so yeah we're grimy greasy and all that getting cleaned up we're gonna get the big bird back to my house and i'm gonna clean it up and see if we can't plan a track day with that until next one have a good one later